Whether you're studying for the CISSP exam or just a member of the general public who wants to know the basics of what a CICD pipeline is, then hopefully this video can answer some of your questions. So let's get started. CICD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery. And you probably already knew that, so let's answer the question of what that actually is. CICD is a methodology or a process. It's a process for automating the SDLC, or the Software Development Lifecycle. It's typically done using tools like GitLab or Jenkins, and you've probably heard of those. Those tools are made to enable the CICD process that you choose to be performed in an automated fashion. So the common body of knowledge gives us some distinct but general steps that are common among all of the CICD methodologies. So if you watch other videos, the steps will be a little bit different. So just keep in mind that these steps here are given by ISC squared for the CISSP curriculum. Ultimately, the user or the company's policy will have to dictate or decide what steps to use and then configure the CICD tool according to those steps or what you want to do, how you want to accomplish the SDLC. So the first step here is coding. Obviously, this is where the software unit is written. Next, we have testing, and this is where unit tests are performed. Next, we have integrating the software into units of larger subsystems and eventually into a completed application. And next, we need to test those larger subsystems and completed applications. And finally, we have delivery, which is where the software is delivered, installed, and made available to users. So the tool itself, or the solution, is going to automate the coordination piece and the communication piece of this whole thing. It's also going to control the process, so you can add or remove steps using the tool. It's also going to monitor the progress of the pipeline, and I imagine you can put alerts in there and reminders and automated emails and all sorts of goodies into the process. I've never actually used Jenkins or anything like that, but I've been on the receiving end of some of those things. Last thing we need to mention here are the security implications. The CISSP common body of knowledge states that a security assessment needs to be performed on the process itself or the methodology. A security assessment on the pipeline implies that it needs to be reliable for what you're using it for. And obviously, if you don't have standards for security built into your process, then you may have a problem further down the line. It also mentions that you should be aware of the faster coding hype that kind of comes along with these tools because faster coding typically results in bad security. So that's it for this quick lesson. I hope you learned something. If you're studying for the CISSP exam, I highly recommend that you check out our website. If you're an IT person who's interested in security, I recommend looking into getting your CISSP certification. The industry is always in need of knowledgeable people like you to help secure the IT infrastructure and the digital assets of an organization. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.